<coughs> hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 5 assignment of the course introduction to iot so friends uh, if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with with your friends in whatsapp groups and make everyone watch the video and please share the video guys so if you are getting benefited through our channel definitely like the video then only we will get encouragement and support to start uh, to continue further videos so please watch the video till the end without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some content guys so do watch full video now let's see the first question so friends i tried my best to give you the most probable solutions and if there are any changes to be made in your opinion if you differ with my solutions you can ask me in the comment section uh, if i get to my notice about any change i will also update in the comment section itself so these are my probable solutions so please use these as reference guys so first question company abc manufactures a room temperature monitor which sends data via protocol x and company m and o manufactures another kind of room temperature sensor which sends data via protocol y with respect to this which among the following current correctly captures the said scenario so for first question i think the probable answer is second option heterogeneity of iot now let's move on to the second question so second one when two iot devices wish to communicate semantic conflict in such a scenario in iot interoperability refers to what so for second question the probable answer is fourth option two devices having different processing and business logic now let's move on to the third question so third question which of the following issues needs to be addressed while solving user interoperability so for third question the probable solution is fourth option all of this that means option a device characterization and identification second one syntactic interoperability and the next one is semantic interoperability so option d all of this is the probable solution for third question now let's move on to the fourth question guys fourth one which umb interoperability component is responsible for converting physical devices into virtually abstracted ones so for fourth question the probable answer is option a umb adapter umb adapter now let's move on to the fifth question fifth one a protocol translation unit ptu acts as a middleware between two iot devices with different native protocols to enable communication with each other by translating the language of one device to the other one and vice versa so for fifth one the probable answer is option b false now let's move on to the sixth question so before moving moving into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement so we have prepared the exam preparation uh, mcqs so with nearly 5 years of nptel experience we have collected and prepared through hands on and also the previous year assignment questions guys so the two packs are available the super savings pack and normal savings pack so in this super savings pack you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs which is worth just 500 only so up to five members can use this access guys so for five members combined it will be 500 rupees so please join with your classmates and friends to buy this pack so the validity will be till the exam day not one month or two months you'll get till the exam day even if the exam date is postponed also we will extend the date so there is high topics coverage that means more number of topics in the syllabus are covered in this 300 mcq spec 
and search option is also available so that you can easily search any question by using certain keyword specific to that question and it is also easy to revise because it is a PDF and you can easily scroll the MCQs before going to the exam also and there is another pack which is 150 MCQs pack the price is 300 here up to three members can get access for this and the topic coverage is medium guys such option is also available and it's also easy to revise so in my perspective it is better to take this 300 MCQ spec because here you are getting more number of MCQs here you are getting more number of MCQs right more number of MCQs means better preparation which can lead to better grade so it's better to take this 300 MCQ spec guys so that's my view So if you want to purchase any of this pack, you can message me to this email ID. This is my email ID. I will give that in the comment section as well as in the description box. So guys, please message me only if you want to buy this pack. Uh, already many students have approached me and have taken the taken our course PDFs. So every, most of them got benefited through that. So hope you will also get benefited. So this is the email ID you have to mail me for. And coming to the point, there is also another pack. So I will show you. So this is YouTube membership pack. Here you will get 100 plus MCQs. It is only for one person, guys. But and the price is also 119 per person. And it is available in video format, not MCQs. So you have to watch full video for any single question. And the validity is also only for one month. So if you want to join in the YouTube membership, just go to our channel page. So you can type Eskumar Edu in the search box. So our page will appear. So beside this subscribe button, there is join button, right? So there is join button, right? So click on the join button. So, so click on that uh, join button. Hello guys, welcome. To and uh, there are three packs available so click on 119 per month pack here and click on join once again and make payment that's it you will become a member of our channel and you can get access to all of our videos you can see here we have uploaded part one and part two of the IOT course and you can get access to all our uh, videos guys not only one uh, one video you can get access to all our uploaded videos for 119 rupees only so this is the old price the price has now changed so 119 per month pack you have to choose and it is only for members so already many students have joined our courses so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so for joining this youtube membership no need to message me you can directly click on join button and join our course but if you want any pdf packs then only message me guys So if you want this PDF, you can message me to this email ID. If you want to purchase this YouTube membership, no need to message me. You can directly pay to YouTube only. So now let's get back to the solutions. Sixth one, suppose that a smart CCTV camera has been configured using C++ language with respect to the device cosine identification as per the standard definition, which among the following the information uh, configuration lang C++ will most will be most appropriately mapped. So for sixth question, I think the probable answer is option C, guys. So please correct me if, uh, if there is any mistake. So the com these are completely my probable solutions and as per my view. So please use this for reference purpose only. Now let's move on to the seventh question. So seventh one, which among the following are components of an Arduino Uno board? So for seventh question, the answer is all of this. That means option D, all of this is the correct answer. Now let's move on to the eighth question. Eighth one. What is the series of microcontroller chips powering Arduino UNO boards? 
So for eighth question, the probable answer is 80 mega series. Option D, 80 mega series. Now moving on to the ninth question, the last but one question. I mean, our uh, ninth question. So there are total 15 questions, right? Ninth question in Arduino IDE, the verify and upload buttons perform the exact same task. No, it is false. So both the functions are different, right? Now moving on to the 10th question. Suppose Tenth one. Suppose that an Arduino Uno board is connected to a pneumatic sensor which sends tire pressure as floating point numbers. Which among the fun functions will you use to read from the sensor? So for tenth question, the probable answer is option C analog read. Analog read. Now move on to the eleventh question. So 11th one, consider the following Arduino sketch. So this is the code they have given. So let me erase this. So this is the code they have given and they are asking us to fill the given blank, fill in the blank with um, appropriate keyword right so what must be inserted in place of question mark so guys i think uh, the probable answer is option b output i'm not exactly sure about this second option guys but actually if you see here there is a both input and output right so that uh, I think it should be output in many different uh, programs also it's given output so here I am going with option B output so anyone can please clarify if you know this exactly but I am going with option B here 12th one for integrating different types of sensors with Arduino such as uh, DHT with Arduino if uh, you would need to install and hash include the sensor specific libraries in your sketch so for 12th question, the probable answer is option A, true. Now let's move on to the 13th question. Uh, which of the following best describes the command given below? Server demo dot write of 180. So for 13th question, the probable answer is third option. Server moves 180 degrees. Server moves 180 degrees. So now let's move on to the 14th question, the last but one question. In an Arduino sketch for the default function, wide setup, which of the following is true? So for 14th question, the probable answer is option B, point where the code starts. Now let's move on to the final question of the assignment, that is 15th one. So before getting into this last question, question, I want to once again make you remember that we have prepared the uh, NPTEL exam preparation MCQs. So in the super savings pack, you will get nearly 300 MCQs, huge number of MCQs for just 500 only. Up to five members can get access to that. So please message me to this email ID if you want to purchase. Please message me only if you want to purchase, guys. So already many students have taken our PDFs and got benefited, guys. So hope you will also do that. Now let's get back to the last question. Which among the following can also be described as a relay which is an actuator? So for 15th question, the probable answer is option B, motor type actuator. That is option B. So friends, these are the solutions for week 5 assignments of IOT course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp student groups and make it spread as much as possible guys so that every student will be able to note these solutions probable solutions so that's it guys for this video so please like the video if you got genuinely benefited through this if you get any type of benefit please
uh, like this video and share this with your friends guys so that's it for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you keep supporting us